Jägermeister Dreamer back with another video. I know this is a bit further away from the last one as far as time goes, but I think this needs to be said. <clears throat> um, a family member of mine, I'm not going to name drop him or anything. Uh, we'll call him Chester. Yeah. Um, his first name starts with a C, so that's all I'm going to give away. Not anything personal, but I, I'll, I'll call him Chester. Okay, this guy, Chester, has <clears throat> been staying, has stayed with me a little bit. And, well, he's a big time alcoholic. He's a bit more of an alcoholic than my brother. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, he's, I already had to have the cops out here for him, but, um, well, I'm sorry if I'm playing with my mustache to you guys. Um, I'm just trying to get it situated. Anyway, back to the topic of this video. Uh, Chester was just going crazy. My dad's here with me, and he was here trying to tear my dad down. I know my dad would deny it if you ask him, hey, was this guy tearing you down or anything? He's going to deny that because he's an enabler. My dad's an enabler. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm jerking y'all around with the camera situation. I'm just trying to get a comfortable position here because my car is not that comfortable. It used to be, but now it's not. Anyway, Chester is in here complaining about the property, saying, I pay my damn rent here. Damn, it's not a curse word, so don't try and tell me that. Anyway, I pay my rent here when he doesn't really pay anything. Chester does not pay anything here. All he's ever done here is work in the yard and all that, and garden. There's a damn roach in the car. Yeah, I've had some roaches, roach problems in here. Anyway, I am trying to get rid of them, but it's not going well for me. Anyway, he doesn't pay anything. Just working doesn't pay for the lights. It doesn't pay for the water. It doesn't pay for the internet. It doesn't pay for the TV provider. It doesn't pay for anything. Just working in the yard like, uh, well, well, this stuff is dying over here. He planted some corn, but it looks like it's, it's getting to be withered because, well, we ain't had no rain and he ain't been out here watering it. He's been too damn drunk to do it. But anyway, I'm not going to blame it all on alcohol, even though he likes to drink until the alcohol in his system destroys his liver and kills him. Uh, which is a danger. Like, I wouldn't mind just one... Um, if I wanted to drink, if I want to drink, I wouldn't mind just having one. Just one. One beer itself is bad for you. But I would know my limit. So, he clearly does not. He takes medication, which can kill him instantly. It's amazing it hasn't already, but Chester... Chester doesn't seem to care. Chester only, like, cares about himself. Like, he wants to just call me that boy... I've supported you people for five damn years. When really it's only been like two, maybe, or one or two years or one and a half. It ain't been five years. And him in here using the F word, which really, my dad really doesn't like. He hates when people say the F word. I'm not going to say the F word here because YouTube, they won't let you, they won't let you monetize your video if you cussing a lot. Um, I know YouTube's already probably considering damn a cuss word, even though damn is in the Bible. 
I've already gave give you all an example on that. But still, Chester, when the cops got here, he's saying, someone call the damn police. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, me. I got tired of you in there uh, yelling at my dad, tearing him down. So, of course, I called the damn police, even though it was a, two deputy sheriffs that arrived. They arrived uh, separately, but they arrived. They hear about elderly being involved in elderly abuse or anything like that. They're going to be involved. They don't give a damn. Well, the cops up north don't give a damn about the elderly because well, the cops shoved one guy, which you couldn't really tell what he had in his hand, but I don't think it was a gun. But anyway, yeah. The cops gave him a talking to. He calmed down. Uh, all this because me and my dad wouldn't let him have a woman here? Does that make any sense to y'all? Because it sure doesn't make sense to me. So what if, like for me, for example, if I wanted to have a woman at my house and, or um, let's say I was living with my parents and they didn't want me to have a woman over, uh, I say, hey, I want to have this lady over here for the night. And they say, no, just say all right and be done with it. What the hell is your problem? Hell isn't a pr bad word either because, well, hell's not a cuss word either because there's a place called hell. Hell is where Satan lives, so it doesn't count. So anyway... He's in there getting pissed off because no one will give him his way. Because he's not getting his way. And he's deciding to throw a tantrum. I'm going to unplug this. I don't want to run my battery down. So he's not getting his way. And he's up there. He's in there giving my dad a hard time. Cussing. Carrying on. Yelling at him at the top of his lungs. So he's basically in there whining about it. So, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and share this with y'all. Thought I saw Chester. If I did, you'd get to hear what he sounds like when he's throwing a tantrum. I bet that would be entertaining. <laughs> yeah, let the entire viewing world see what he's like. Anyway, back to the topic. So the cops leave, and he's calmed down for a while. I go out there to smoke a cigarette even though I'm trying to quit. I had an extra stash under the car seat here. Um, not a child's car seat, the driver's seat. Um, so, yeah, they probably wouldn't look good for the cops if they pulled me over. But anyway, yeah, he's over here whining about not having a woman over here. And he's in there complaining to my dad saying how he's going to paid the 75 effing dollars for the effing motel room. I said, I'm thinking to myself, good. He'll be away from here and I won't have to hear it. I knew this was coming because he had two beers and he usually has an extra one stashed away somewhere. So I saw it coming. I really do need to shave. I don't know why I'm why I care about shaving because um, I'm not getting me a woman anytime soon. I don't care about that, and I'm not gay, so I'm not having a man either. I just don't want any relationships. Anyway, yeah. So this is pretty much a entitled persons another entitled person video. I know a lot of people like to have entitled person videos playing or like to listen to entitled person's situations and hear other people's entitled parent or entitled person encounters so I figured I'd go ahead and share a few of mine and this one being a lot more recent my glasses are messed up big time 
I don't know why I bother because they're cheaply made and they're not like them old ones that you see with the hook around legs. So anyway, off the glasses topic, we're gonna finish up this video because I need to wrap it up anyway. I guarantee he's back in there yelling at my dad. I probably should have waited until this was over so that I could add it all. Anyway, but I don't necessarily make the best decisions and we all know humanity makes bad decisions sometimes. Okay, these days, a lot of the times. Anyway, so yeah, he goes back to complaining and yelling at the top of his lungs. I'm there wanting to handcuff him. And in case you don't believe me, I do have real handcuffs. Like there is no safety on these, just a thing to lock the, lock the ends of it in so that they don't tighten up on someone. So yeah, I could leave him in these all night. I don't even care because, hey, he's the one in there abusing my dad. I'm not gonna let someone, family or not, abuse my parents. I don't know why I'm moving my hands so much. Like, y'all can't even see it. I got it going off camera. I should probably put this on the dashboard, but again, I don't make the best decisions. So anyway, um, yeah, he, he went back in there yelling at my dad, saying how he pays his rent. He cooks, and then he's talking to his one of his friends say, saying that I have a funny way of appreciating him for everything he does by calling the law. I said, well, you got a funny way of showing appreciation by getting drunk and treating my parents this way. I mean, my mom's not here. It's just my dad and Chester. So, yeah. I'm not going to put up with it. Eventually, I'm going to go in there and handcuff him until the next day. And you can only imagine how uncomfortable that would be having to spend the night in handcuffs. So that would kind of add to like petty revenge. So this has been another Entitled Persons video. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, like if, if you leave a like rating down below if you like the video and um, and if you want to have more what if you want to get notifications for future videos subscribe and, and turn on your notifications and if you got any discussions you want me to share on YouTube Feel free to put them in the comments and um, yeah, I'll keep y'all up to date. This is Jaegermeister Dreamer signing off.